You might notice on your sidewalk that there's a metal cover with the word water on it. Under this cover is the sleeve that connects to your curb valve. The curb valve is the shutoff valve on the sidewalk for your water main. Um, it's important to note that um, different water services, there are different rules and regulations on when a curb valve is required. So if you have a sprinkler line or a combined water service, um, you always need a functioning curb valve. Um, if you have a small domestic water service, there's no rule that says that you need to have a curb valve connected to it. If you're questioning where your curb valve is located, your curb valve should be within two feet from the curb line. Now some water mains require a curb valve and some water mains do not. As I said earlier, if you have a small domestic water main, then you're not required to have one. If you have a sprinkler or a combined or domestic that's two and a half inches or greater, then you are required to have one. If you do not see a curb box on the sidewalk, it's a possibility that it's buried underneath the sidewalk and in that case, you would have to perform exploratory excavation to see if indeed you do have one. Now, in some cases, there are, if, you're, uh, if your water main is very old, there's a chance that the curb valve or the box is located close to the building. Um, it's important to note if there's any work required on that curb valve, you would have to bring it to code and install a new one to, within two feet from the curb. It's extremely important to note that if you do have a water main break and you are planning on using your curb valve, it's highly advised to contact a licensed plumber who has the expertise and knows how to actually handle and to work a curb valve. It's far too often we receive calls from customers who've tried to do it on their own and more often than not, they actually cause more damage and make like secondary leaks. Does your curb valve work? It's advised that you gather information such as the age, material, and the location of the pipe in the curb valve before anyone attempts to do any work to the curb valve. This information will help us to determine if there's a possibility that we think the valve is functional. If you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to reach out to us. I'd be happy to offer assistance.